to recognise my shirt. It's the original shirt. That's why it's maybe a little bit shabby. It looks anyway. good. I was looking around. Where's the bright pink t-shirt? I need to <laughs> yes, here sure it is. Okay. So tonight I'm going to tell you my one, two, three of networking. I'll tell you one very short story about my experiences networking over the past 35 years. Uh, two ways networking has helped me. And I'm going to sum up with three tips. So the one story is recently someone came to me and said, I was mentioning that I needed a bit of support with the direction of my business to scale my business and I'm at that stage. And, you know, your head gets very full of ideas and, and you get a bit confused and you go, what should I do next? I, need, I needed some help. And this person said, get a group of people that you know and ask them to come for a breakfast and get them to help you with your business. I said, I can't do that. She said, yes, you can. They'll want to, they'll help you. People will help you. So some of those people are in this room tonight. Uh, I don't need to mention them, but they're just gorgeous people. So four people came and met with me for three hours from 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. and sat there and talked about my business. Not charging me anything, not asking for anything in return other than they were there to support me. And they all said that. And I'm very humbled by it, as you can imagine. But I met these people all through networking. I have no real other, um, I don't meet them, you know, for social drinks or anything, but purely networking and they're just fantastic people. So another two ways that networking has helped me. So I've had numerous people, as you all know, you probably all know, or a lot of you know, I do panel discussions and events with panel discussions. And I've had people from bankers, lawyers, real estates, business coaches, international speakers, A-League CEOs, um, NRL, NRL football legends, mayors, and lots more that have come onto my panel discussions or hosted them. And this is all through either meeting them at networking or being referred to them by people that I network with and through my connections. The second thing, that's happened to me is that I was invited to become the president of a chamber of commerce. And that is all due to my connections as well. And some of those people are in the room tonight as well. And honestly, um, those connections I've built helped me um, to become a, a business chamber president. And now I meet quarterly with the CEO and heads of departments at Central Coast Council, and we speak about local issues that we can then take back to our chamber and that we can take from our chamber members their issues to the council. So it's incredible what networking can do. But to sum up and give you some tips, know why you are here. We network to grow, to, sorry, we network to know, like, and trust each other. And you don't do that in one meeting. I've talked to that about, probably took my head off about that to a few people. Yeah. Um, and you probably don't even do it in one year but you do do it over time and you have to play the long game with networking and you build great relationships. Uh, the second one is that there's plenty of information for introverts. Everyone's always telling you how to network if you're shy and quiet, but what about the extroverts? What about us? So you just need to learn to shut up and listen. And that's hard for me. <laughs> as you may know. But anyway, the plan here is to set yourself some rules to measure that. So maybe set an alarm, you may hear mine go off shortly and it actually says, shut that up. Because, and it goes off and I think, oh, have I been talking too much tonight? I'm not listening enough, not asking enough questions because I'm, I'm a bit of a chatter. <laughs> so anyway, that's how it goes. And the exception may be tonight because I do want to tell all of you about my event coming up in March, which we would mentioned. <laughs> Um, oh, turn the page. And the third thing is that we are not here to gain business, but rather to learn from each other, to support each other, and to collaborate. So we are each other's colleagues in business, and we need to be each other's biggest supporters. Thank you.